Okay, another picture talking about how to find the vertex given the general form. Okay? That's easy to do. Here's the quadratic formula, which everybody now knows in such a way that you're never going to forget it, at least not till the end of the course, and hopefully not for the rest of your life. And if you don't, you're not going to understand where this comes from. You just have to memorize two formulas. Because you're still going to have to know the quadratic formula. Okay? You have zeros at x equals negative b plus or minus, you know, you know what it is, that square root thing over the 2a, right? I'm not going to read every word of it to you. Okay? We've seen it way too many times. Um, you have to know. And the vertex occurs halfway between the two zeros. Well, the numerator here goes plus this thing from negative b and minus this thing from negative b. So halfway between your two zeros is just going to be negative b over 2a. I've said that many times. I've said it in more detail than the MCR, so if you don't understand it, go back and look. Okay? In any case, the axis of symmetry is x equals negative b over 2a, and right there it is, sitting there smiling at you from the quadratic formula, which you have to know, and hopefully do. I could test you on that today, but I won't. Um, so you have a vertex now at what? At whatever this gives you. Now, I wrote negative b over 2a, but you're going to calculate this, right? And you're going to put that number here, okay? And then you're going to plug that number in to this to get the y coordinate, because that's what y equals, right? And I've written, again, the negative b over 2a and the negative b over 2a plugged into this thing, but really you're just going to get whatever you get when you do this, right? This number is going to go in here, and you're going to have this. You don't memorize this. That'd be ridiculous. Memorize this, okay? But just know that there's your zero. You calculate it, you plug it in here, and there's your y coordinate. And there's your vertex and your axis of symmetry, okay? And then your vertical stretch is A, meaning, and if you don't understand this, look at the details from the MCR video. Uh, if you move one unit right or left from your vertex, your Y coordinate changes by A, okay? I mean, that happens here. Uh, this is, you know, the, the vertically stretched function is Y equals AX squared, if x is 1, that gives you y equals a. So if you move one unit to the right here, you move up a units here. Okay? And if you move one to the left, you're also going to go up to a units. So that justifies what I'm saying here.